What up, what up, what up? Unbreakable Kicks Army. Man, let me tell you, yo. Your boy has been down and out literally the last couple days. Like, I don't know if y'all watched the video Friday, but it was a struggle for me to even get through that video, man. Your boy been having crazy migraines and stuff. I couldn't do anything this past... Actually, yesterday, man. Yesterday, I was literally on my butt. Um, was able to finally feel better and um, check out Black Panther, man. But, bruh, man. Your boy, <laughs> maybe I'm just doing too much work. I know it was a crazy week, man, from doing the lives and, um, like, you know, doing the regular videos, man. But yesterday, I really needed that break, man. But I feel so much better today, Army. I do feel a little bit behind because I literally did no content yesterday. I was supposed to go live for the East Side Golf. So if you did get a dub on East Side Golf yesterday, congrats. I know prices is kind of low, which is probably why a lot of people wasn't really talking about them. Um, but Wifey was still able to pick up a size yesterday online, and I want to say they only had about 10,000 pairs online, so it wasn't a lot. The thing is, I got an um, email from Eastside Golf like Friday night, so they literally were sending out emails all the way up until release. And I honestly can't wait to see how them joints look at hand. So again, if you did get a dub on the Eastside Golf yesterday, congrats. Black Panther Army, I'm giving you all until like, man, maybe the next live. By the time we on the next live, man, y'all gotta have seen Black Panther so that way we can go ahead and discuss it. Um, I probably, without giving y'all any spoilers, I probably will give the movie like, I would say by like an 8 out of 10. It definitely was good. I personally think it was better than the first one. A lot of people don't like it for certain reasons, but the way it ended, like y'all know Marvel do the post credit scenes. Post credit scene to me saved the entire movie. So make sure y'all watch it. Make sure y'all stay for the post credit. And um, let's get to the kicks. So Army, we know this is the week. This is the week for the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found. I don't know how y'all feeling going into this week. Again, yesterday was just an uh, off day for me. So I'm not sure what market value is. I'm not sure if y'all still mess with StockX after, you know, the whole StockX shenanigans that happened on uh, Thursday. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't really been checking up on a lot of stuff, but it's looking like the price on the Air Jordan, one lost and found, in a size 11, highest bid is 375, lowest ask is 400. So that's about, like I said, what I felt like market was gonna be. I never said that I think these was gonna go less than 300 bucks. It's still gonna be a high demand shoe. I still feel like after these joints sell up, prices will slowly start to creep back up. So this is the week for you to do your raffles. This is the week for y'all to do y'all flex reservation, Jimmy Jazz raffle. This is the week for you to really show how bad you want to get this shoe for retail because it's going to be plenty out there, but that does not mean that this is going to be an easy drop army. We've been saying it for the longest sneak of the year. I don't care how many pairs have been on the street early. I don't care how many pairs have been backdoored. I don't care about none of that. They did not make enough to fulfill the needs and the demands of everybody who want this shoe. So, we already know, exclusive access for JD Sport, that is what I'm really, really banking on for my double up. JD Sport, as long as they get a decent amount, I should be able to get in there, huh, <laughs> on my corporate stuff, get in there, grab me a pair, hopefully wife get exclusive access as well, you know, cause this is a three pair minimum shoe. Got my personal and two on the side, because again, we don't know how long it's going to be before we see the shoe again. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that, Army. So again, do what y'all got to do. Generally exclusive access on JD Sport Finish Line go live with like Wednesday or Thursday. So I'm definitely going to be keeping my ears to the street. Army, y'all keep y'all ears to the street. Well, hopefully we can go live for it, you know, the exclusive access. So that way everybody can get that chance at grabbing this retail dub, Army. Because again, this is a vital one. This is a vital one. I feel like once we get this shoe out the way, everybody can just woo Everybody can just breathe. Everybody can just, you know, enjoy the rest of the year. Because I think the Retro 11 Cherries is going to be a breeze. I think everything other than the My Year 4s and the Travis One Lows is going to be a breeze. Again, 11s, we've been there, done that. We ain't been there, done that. 
boy Air Jordan 1 Chicago in seven years. And back then, it was completely different than how it is now. So y'all gotta brace yourself for this joint right here. I know the other two shoes on my radar, the Air Jordan 5 DJ Khaled. Today, Khaled was courtside at the Charlotte Miami game with the Air Jordan 5s on Feet Army. I still want those. Nobody offered me a trade on trade block for those. So I'm assuming that everybody keeping their pairs in a size 11, 11 and a half, or majority of the people who got him is probably Florida residents because, again, he did his fan love pop-up. So Florida definitely got blessed, and I knew that was going to happen. I'm still trying to see what's going on with that other pair. That other pair is, like, non-existent. We got two pairs that's supposed to be dropping and only one pair that has loaded up on Sneakers app. So for all my tech geeks who be able to, you know, go behind and see what's been loaded on Nike's back end. Can y'all let us know if y'all see the other colorway or should we just be expecting this one colorway? And again, when those drop, those are not dropping via the draw. That's going to be the Leo first come first serve. So hopefully your boy can grab a dub then or if not, price go down below 300 because I feel like these should have been below 300 now uh, with all the promo Cali being on TV with them you know I feel like that definitely increased these joints up about 50 bucks because last I looked these were almost at that 299 price tag but they definitely done went up about 50 bucks since yesterday Jordan 7 trophy room still sitting around the same price again my man Kalen said he got me he just waiting on those to arrive he didn't get this in the mail yesterday from Nike so I'm assuming, yeah, these are my trophy room shorts. I don't care that I uh, just opened it up. I was going to rock these anyway. Trophy room shorts came in. These shorts is crazy, y'all. I wish I kept that black pair that came with the trophy ones, but that was a size too big. Let's go crazy. So hopefully I'll get the shoes in sometime next week. Get the trophies in next week. I'm probably going to put up the Tinker alternates up um, because... These kind of got that Olympic vibes. I'm keeping my Olympic 7s. And then the trophies got that Olympic 7 vibes as well, Army. So these might be up at the next What Not Live stream, y'all. And that live is this upcoming Thursday, Army. And my man Sneaker Slash hit me up. And we may be doing a crazy giveaway, y'all. Crazy. So make sure y'all click the link in the description section below. Bookmark. Soon as we get to a 1,000 bookmarks, I'm going to let y'all know what shoe we giving away. Biggest shoe that I've given away this year. Bookmark the live, click the link, top link in the description section below. Bookmark it. If you don't have a WhatNot account, click the link underneath it. Sign up, you get $10 off your first purchase. Y'all don't wanna miss this one, Army. Army, if we really get this joint busting and get to 1.2K bookmarks, your boy is gonna auction off his pair of the Air Jordan 3 Oregon joints. Y'all know this is my favorite PE of all time. Size 10 and a half, worn a couple times. We get to 1.2K bookmarks. I'm going to auction these joints off as well, starting at a buck. And last but not least, Army, while on IG yesterday, I did screenshot this. It's rumored that it's a shock drop for a Air Jordan Off-White on that, what's that, Canary website? On the Canary Yellow website. I've been on that website before, Army. I have came this close to getting a dub on the Air Jordan 2 Off-White, the blue pair. Now, what really got that site going crazy was Twitter. Like, I would randomly see people just randomly getting dubs on Off-White restocks. I'm like, bro, where are people getting these Off-White restocks from? I'm going to read from the IG page. It said, Off-White Air Jordan 4 sale is set to shop drop soon via Canary Yellow as pairs are loaded on the site's back end currently. Are you ready for the shock drop? Now, I'm going to let y'all know straight up. That site, as far as trying to get a dub, is extremely tough. That's not a cakewalk. That's not, you know, it's not easy. If, if it was, everybody would know about it, and majority of people would get dubbed. I have personally seen mugs get dubs, mugs receiving their shoes. So the site, as far as I've seen, has been legit. But again, as far as actually getting the dubs, I've heard sometimes that they cancel orders. So it's definitely a hit or miss. But if this shoe has been on your list, if this shoe is something that you have been wanting to go for, you've been trying to get for retail, just keep an eye out. Again, it's rumored. But when it comes to the Canary Yellow site, even though it is unpredictable and it is a potential shot drop, I still just say keep an eye on it just in case it do go live and you got them quick fingers and you able to score a dub. And Army, potential shot drop on the Air Jordan 4 off-whites. No, it's not on sneakers. 
It's on the Canary Yellow website. Again, just make sure y'all got y'all Twitter alerts going on. Just make sure that y'all keep an eye out on the page. Again, they didn't say what date. All they said is that they seen that the pairs have been loaded on the back end. And a couple days ago, they were saying that the off-white, the green joints was on there as well, the Air Force Ones. But when I seen the updated post yesterday, they just had the Air Jordan 4. So again, Army, just keep your eyes peeled for those. And other than that, Army, again, this week, Air Jordan will lost the fouls. We got the raffles going on, in-store, online, FLX, JD Sport finish line. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Sneakers app. Of course, we know again that they're doing a the draw. Air Jordan 4 off-white potential shot drop on Canary Yellow. At the Air Jordan 4, my years on the 17th. Again, it's going to be a busy week, y'all. Make sure that notification bell is hit so that way y'all don't miss none of the lives. Y'all don't miss none of the videos. Smash that thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vote. Unbreakable Army stands strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones and of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get a music. He was old him first season. The most beefy looking like two left. Two left cause your ass taking nails.